Moonlit and Polish presents Tried and Failed Tuesday. I was trying to do these really cool, edgy anti Valentine's Days, such as these Saray 525s or Dutch nails. You know, something cool and edgy for those people who don't really like the cute, floofly hearts for Valentine's Day. I wanted to be awesome. I tried. I even tried to water bottle for the first time. I'm not good at it. I was going to throw away this video and just call it a lost cause. And my wonderful husband, Ed, said, hey, well, you should put it up there. And people probably want to see your garbage nails and see how horrible you messed up. Because YouTube's a weird place where people like to watch other people get kicked in the nuts. This is basically getting kicked in the nuts for your nails. I tried to drag marble on aluminum foil because I'm an idiot. Why did I think aluminum foil was going to be good? Why did I think the nail polish was even going to come off of it? I don't know. I This is literally just an entire nail design of bad judgment. This is like getting drunk at a bar and sleeping with a really ugly guy for your nails. It's just it, bad decisions. This is buying a dress that doesn't actually fit you because it's the only one there. And when you wear it out, you have, like, rolls. It, you know, it's a bad idea. This is that time that you saw that whole cake in the window at Publix and was like, I could totally eat that and it wouldn't even matter. And then you do. And then you're secretly ashamed of it. But for your nails. I put these tips on that I have. I don't have nail glue. Who has tips but no nail glue? What I ended up doing was putting a gel base on my hand, or my nails, obviously. And then I put the tips on, and I held them there while my husband hit him with a flashlight for 30 seconds. Like an LED curing flashlight, not just a regular flashlight. And it worked pretty well. I figured, you know, that's cool, because I wasn't going to keep these on forever, because I just can't handle long nails. I would have poked myself in the eye. And as proof that I couldn't handle long nails... Half of the footage for this video was deleted because it was all knuckle. Just me filming my knuckles. Why? I, I, I just, I'm just so ashamed. <sighs> so bad. <sighs> Anyways, so yeah. I was going to delete this and my husband said, no, make like a failed Tuesday or a terrible Tuesday. And I said, okay, I can do that. I can make tried and ta failed. Ugh. Apparently I can't talk anyway tried and failed Tuesday videos. So that's what I'm going to do. From now on, whenever I film a video to show you guys my nails, if it looks awful and it's garbage, I'm just going to put it on Tuesdays and it's going to be tried and failed Tuesday. And you guys can look at it and laugh and think of it as cautionary tale for your nails. Don't do this. It looks bad. I mean, look, I'm looking at them, painting them, and the paint was just going on just thickly and awfully. I did. I buffed them as much as I could, but all the nails still had these like divots and grooves that the nail polish was not either not getting into or just pooling into. It's all the shame. Just look at my nail shame. My index finger is glumpy on the top, and then my pinky finger could cut you accidentally ah, it's just it's so ashamed I had such high hopes for this like I was thinking I'm gonna do this and people are gonna think it's so cool and then I'm gonna get followers and followers and more followers people are gonna like my videos and comment and be like hey I you're awesome no not from this here is where I decided to make an anatomically correct heart I'm not really good at freehand painting on my nails so usually if I'm going to freehand paint, I'm going to do it on a decal on a nail art mat and then put it on my nail later. And the heart started out pretty cool. I wanted to be like, oh, okay, so I'm going to do like anatomically correct heart and it's going to be a little bit like bleeding because, uh, you know, this is anti-Valentine's Day, you know, like I don't care about the loving and the cutesy and the, uh, I can be badass. And, and the more I drew on the nail, the worse it got. It's, I mean, just look at it. This is awful. And none of the products that I use are actually bad. 
they've always worked for me in different ways, whatever way I wanted to use them. It's just like, this day was just, you know, like when you have a really bad day where we wake up and everything you do is just not working. And you're thinking, you know what, I'm just going to go back to sleep because tomorrow is going to be better. That's what this day was for me, I guess. <sighs> Here I was going to make a, like a little dagger that was going to be the dagger, you know, that stabbed the heart and was cool. God, I don't even, I don't even, it's so bad. It just looks like a icicle or something. And then I wanted to make a, you know, like a nice little outline and I was imagining this perfectly straight line that I was going to do on either side in black. That doesn't look straight. It looks drunk. My dotting tool got wasted. And then came back and was like, hey, let's draw some light. And then I'm going to go sleep. But my, you know, my cleanup brush with acetone came to play. And then I just decided to keep going on this. And I'm like, okay, here, I'm going to make a hilt. Because, you know, it's a cool, fancy dagger. It just looks awful. And I, I kept thinking it was all going to work itself out. So I just put clear nail polish on both of these things. Let it dry. Cross my fingers carefully so I wouldn't cut myself with these things. And here's the one water decal that I sort of managed to do. As you can see, the outer layer is super thin. And the inner layer is super thin. Like these, ugh, the people who water marble are just not normal. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to work on it. And once I have the... For, like I have it just perfect I'm gonna show you guys and be all like look at this watch me marble water marble god I really can't talk it really is tried and failed Tuesday anyway so I took that one decal that I had and I cut it up and I said I'm gonna make this like French tips and it's gonna look awesome and you can see where I thought this was gonna be a good idea but look, see, I'm, I'm sponging it down on the nail, and I had put clear nail polish in, but since those black areas were so thin, the clear nail polish just kind of ate through it, and it tore. And it just looked bad. It just looks shameful. I might have to do an actual tutorial where I try this again, and I do it right. And it doesn't suck. It makes everybody happy, and everybody likes me. They all want to be my best friend. Because my nails are so hot. They're fire. Oh, God, look at that. It looks like a mangled hand. Nobody would know that was a heart. And the colors aren't even right. I don't even know what I was thinking. Ugh. Look, see all the smudges? And here's this dagger that turns out to be way too big for the nail itself. Ugh, it's just bad. Here's the result. It's shameful. Look at my shame. Oh my god. I'm stabbing myself because I'm so ashamed of this. So, yeah, I'm peeling it off. Thank goodness I put a peel-off base coat underneath. I wasn't planning on keeping those nails on for very long because, like I said, they're so long. I mean, they're beautiful. I love people who, who can do these long stiletto nails. Because they look so cool. I just can do it because I'd poke myself in the eye or something. Anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. Let me know what you think of Tried and Failed Tuesday. Show me your tried and failed. Go on Twitter and Instagram. Post the pictures. Tag me and hashtag it. Tried and Failed Tuesday. I really want to see this. Make me feel better about my ability by showing your garbage nails too. I put myself out there. You put yourself out there. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Can't wait to hear from you guys. Please don't unsubscribe because of how garbage these nails are. I will be so sad.